Hi friends, welcome to Practical Living. I just wanted to share with you, I just did a grocery share and this is the first time I've ever done it. Um, it's $65 for a share and basically you just meet up wherever they're doing it at and they load your car up with goodies. So I just wanted to see if it was gonna be worth it and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let me know in the comments below if you think it was worth it or not, okay? So we're gonna go through it now, okay. So the first thing I wanna show you is I got four gallons of organic milk. Um, three of these are gonna go in the freezer and then I'm gonna keep the, the, you know, the fourth one, we're gonna use it now. I got two huge things of carrots. I actually have a really good carrot bread um, recipe that I'm gonna show you guys in the future. So these are gonna be processed and what's not processed, I'm gonna give to the chickens because my chickens love scraps. Then we got a bunch of these corns, um, which, you know what? They look like they're in really good condition, uh, really good quality. I'm thinking I might do like a corn salsa that I might can up. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with these. Some of these I'm definitely gonna make with um, the family for a barbecue or something, maybe do some elotes. Love those, those are great. I can show you guys how to do those as well. Then we got, I had my daughter Jasmine helping. That was fatty. The cat is fatty. So we got a huge thing of, I think this is kale. I haven't actually opened it. Pretty sure this is kale. I can make, I can dehydrate this and make kale chips or saute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but still uh, a nice size thing of kale. Limes are always good in our household, especially since it's canning season. I will definitely use these up. Some more tomatoes. I do grow my own tomatoes. You'll see me canning those. But you know what? The more the merrier, right? A bag of gorditos, pizzeria. That's not really my thing. I'll probably just give those to the kiddos. We've got, is this cabbage or lettuce? It, let, let me see. I think that's cabbage. Lettuce or cabbage doesn't matter. Tacos. I'm seeing a lot of tacos in my future. And you can freeze this. Ca if it's cabbage, I'm going to definitely freeze it because I got actually two bags of these. See? They're actually in really good condition. I don't see any browning. So I will definitely, I think that's cabbage. I'm going to freeze it up. Cabbage. Is great to saute, it's great for coleslaw, it's great for uh, pozole, tacos, all kinds of stuff. I love coleslaw. I have a really good uh, coleslaw recipe. I'll do that in the future too. Um, we got some uh, sunflower seeds, which I'll give to my husband. That's not really my thing. We got some corn tortillas, quesadilla, tacos. Yes, I love red onion. It's good for chicken salad sandwiches or fajitas. We got some avocados. This one's actually really perfectly ripe. So I can use that. That one's also perfectly ripe. Some more onions, some potatoes, just Macaroni and cheese dinner made with real cheese. So, these look like things that can go in my pantry. What is this? Oatmeal. Okay, I love oatmeal. There's all kinds of things you can do with oatmeal. Oatmeal is so versatile. Let's see what else we got. We got some more kale. Let's see. We got these huge grapefruits. Look at the size of this grapefruit. Look at my hand. Like, it's massive. We got a bunch of those. I'm not a grapefruit person. My husband is. This, though, is like gold. We can make these into zoodles or we can dehydrate these. I'm probably going to do both. I can um, freeze these, um, like spiral them up and freeze them. And then we could do zoodles during the winter. Or, or and, probably and, um, 
we can dehydrate these and i'll probably do a video on that so we'll be dehydrating some of these that's you know a pretty good size bag so there's all that let's see what other goodies we have give me just a second i'm putting some of the stuff back so i don't lose my focus here okay we got a bunch of celery now the good thing about this is there's something sticking in there the good thing about the celery is that I can use that for, um, I can dehydrate it, I can freeze it, I can make stock with it, I can give it to my chickens if I don't eat it enough. Like there's so many things with the celery I can do besides um, eating it with peanut butter, which is a really good healthy snack. So definitely love the having the celery, that's always a plus. We got a couple bags of panko breadcrumbs. Those will come in handy. I could actually bread up some of those zucchini with the breadcrumbs and fry them. That would be good. We got some hummus. Now, I'm not a fan of hummus. I never have. I've tried several ones, and I don't really care for it. So that'll probably be going to Jasmine. Jasmine can take those home with her. I don't think anybody else in the family likes that. What is this? Rice seasoning. That's always good. We've got some, what is this? Some lentils and some queso blanco sauce. That's cool. I like nachos. Mango. I could do a mango corn salsa. That would be good. Use up a couple of those corn on the cobs, one or two of the mangoes with some, that, yes, definitely gonna do that. Actually, I think I have all the ingredients now with the lime. Yeah. So we can do that. So the breads got crushed um, in the process of bringing them home. But, oh, more lentils. Can't go wrong with beans and, and lentils. So we got some um, hot dog buns, which is good because it's Labor Day weekend. Some everything bagels, which are good for the kids. I love sourdough English muffins. Um... These, I'll probably be the one eating these. And I will, too. I will eat all of those. And you can freeze those. So I'll definitely probably be freezing them. We got some more mangoes. And it looks like some reduced bread. I'll have to look at that and see. Um, let's see. I could probably make that into some French toast. Or give it to the chickens. Chickens always love that. And then we've got... Another bag of um, grapefruits, some little bites, Sour Punch Kids for the kids, some more tortillas, and some more squash. So I'm definitely going to be doing some dehydration on those squashes. And that's it, friends. This is everything we got. Hi, Fatty. That's my cat. Love him. Um, he's interested. He says, this is new. So that's a pretty decent haul, I think. I think for $65. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like what you see, click the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.